Do complex legal issues hold you back? Let's get energized and bring clarity to your top legal questions. This is Law Talk with the Flock by Guzman Law Firm. Hello, I'm your host, Gina Guzman, a lawyer, author, and woman business owner here to help you navigate through the law, your business, and life as a leader. For today's episode, I'm going to talk about five different ways that at Guzman Law Firm, we help to empower women in the legal industry. Obviously, as a female business leader that founded her own firm, it's important to me that the firm continues to promote women and help women advance in the legal industry. One of the first ways that I want to talk about that we do that is because we're parts of other professional organizations that help promote women in the legal business. One of them is NAMWOLF, which stands for the National Association of Minority and Women-Owned Law Firm. NAMWOLF is a mouthful, but it is a great organization that we've been a part of for over eight years now, and it's actually really hard to get into NAMWOLF. NAMWOLF really screens the law firms that can become members. First of all, you have to be a certified organization, and we're certified through WeBank, the Women Business Enterprise National Certification Council, and because we're certified, they uh, make sure that we're actually majority owned by a, a woman. They get your tax returns. They even do a site visit. They interview some of your other employees. And every year you have to get recertified. Our organization that we work through, um, they're headquartered in Chicago, and they come out here and make sure that I'm actually in charge of this place. And I'll never forget they had uh, one of the interviews where they asked one of my senior uh, male attorneys if he actually got his paycheck from Gina Guzman <laughs> and uh, that he wasn't paying me under the table or something like that. So they dig in deep to make sure that these certified businesses are uh, truly woman owned and woman led. And then uh, because we were part of WeBank and we were certified, <clears throat> we were able to uh, move forward and apply to be part of NAMWOLF. And to get into NAMWOLF, we had to have three recommendations from general counsels of Fortune 1000 companies. Now, because we're based in the Midwest, I will tell you that is a little tricky. There's not a lot of headquartered uh, companies that are part of that group. But NAMWOF makes it really tough to get into because they want to make sure that the organizations that are a part of it are really high quality and high quality law firms that other um, companies that have a diversity mission would want to hire. So it's a heavy vetting process to get into the group. But then since we've been in it, it's great to be a part of because everybody that is a member of it, all the different law firms and the people that attend and support and sponsor, uh, they are also encouraging women and minorities uh, to advance in the legal industry. And we have a lot of outstanding educational sessions and opportunities to interact uh, with the people that support the organization. And it's made a big difference for Guzman Law Firm uh, to be a part of that and, and also to have that great network. Second, I want to talk about uh, career development and mentoring. I, I'm personally committed and the firm is committed to professional growth of women in the legal field. And I think there's... One of the best things about being a leader and uh, having the opportunity to impact other women in the business and be able to advance them and mentor them and see them grow. And uh, some of my uh, favorite, most rewarding things about being in leadership is when you get to help other people advance and uh, see them develop new skills and continue to climb the ladder, so to speak. So that's really rewarding. And we have different programs such as Guzman University, where we're trying to help other people advance like that. Uh, third, I wanna talk about a little bit of work-life balance. I really hate the, I, the word balance. I'm gonna talk about that in a minute, but some of our different initiatives that we do at Guzman Law Firm that help people when they're um, trying to you know, climb the ladder or advance in their careers. And one of those is what we call Well Nest. It's a little play on the Goose theme at the Gooseman Law Firm. But we provide all of our hourly staff two hours a week of paid time off that doesn't go against their PTO bank, 
for time to be able to take care of themselves, take care of their family, uh, take care of their other obligations. And so they really work a 38 hour week and they get paid for 40 every week. And that's a big benefit that I know um, our staff really enjoy. And it allows them to, you know, do those dentist appointments, uh, get to the kids game, um, make sure that they're taking care of themselves, that they need to work out or do meditation and and have a little bit of that time uh, that is so precious between eight and five to take care of those different obligations. Also, I think uh, one of the things when I mentioned the word balance, I said I don't really love that word. And that's because I think that there's not really a great balance uh, at any point in time. This isn't the skills of justice where they have to be you know, perfectly equal. There are gonna be times uh, when one side's off kilter than another. And also there's not just work and life. Um, there's a whole bunch of factors. So in my book, Worth It, I talk about my concept of the mashup. And I think that the mashup concept is really more like reality. Uh, you have lots of factors that go into your life. You have your family, you have your career, but you also have your own personal health. You have your uh, commitments to the community organizations that you're a part of. You probably have your religious beliefs if, and all kinds of different things that go into making you you. And in my mind, those go together and they kind of swirl together like an atom to make you you. And at different points in your life, you're going to have... Um, you know, more focus on one thing or another. I know, for example, if I'm in trial, that's going to take up a whole bunch of my time. And then I'm going to need to probably go on a family vacation afterwards to uh, reignite that portion of my life. And at the same time, you know, you might be training for a 5K and you're really getting into your fitness. And it's just really, there's different parts that you have to mash together to make it all work. And I think that's important to help uh, other people understand that. So, you know, if you're working at your job and at your lunch hour, you got to go run errands for your family or get groceries, you know, all those different things come together to to be one. And when you're at the soccer game, you can also be networking and uh, making sure that you're always promoting your own personal brand. So we talk about things like that at the Gooseman Law Firm. Also, I'm advocating for women in leadership. And at the Gooseman Law Firm, we think about that. How many women do we have in leadership? What is our balance here? What does this look like? And we have uh, female partners. I have uh, three female partners today, uh, Beth, Lisa, and Kelly. And we also have women executives that are in leadership in addition to myself. Uh, Trisha Sharar, she is our COO and uh, also a lawyer. And then we also have Rachel, our marketing director, Barb, our HR director and Elizabeth, our finance director. So we have a lot of women in leadership at the Gooseman Law Firm. And I think that that is important to think about. And uh, we thought about that, for example, when we were naming uh, practice area group leaders, and we wanted to make sure that we have uh, women in different seats uh, and we're promoting diversity all the time at the Gooseman Law Firm and including people. Also, uh, with regard to the community and some community engagement, uh, that would be my fifth point I wanted to touch upon. Uh, I think that it's important to give back and help your broader community. I personally, right now, I serve on the Girl Scouts of Greater Iowa Board of Directors, and I'm on the Executive Committee, and that helps uh, girls all throughout Iowa and some in Nebraska and South Dakota and Minnesota. Uh, we help them, you know, get a great start in being bold and confident at a young age. I love the cookie program. It really helps those girls learn how to sell and deal with money when they're really little, and what a great training. Uh, training ground for those girls as they get older and they earn badges and they learn how you have to work at things. And I'm really uh, proud to be a part of that board and, and to help that organization succeed. Other groups that I've been a part of, I've been on the Girls Inc. Board of Directors, uh, helping Girls Inc., who uh, also has tremendous uh, programs for girls. Um, they have a great after school program and summer program and, and really help make sure that those girls are confident and strong as well. And then I'm also part of a group called Women United. And that's a group of other uh, women adults that it's connected a little bit to United Way. They help support the organization, which is fantastic. But essentially, it's a group of women. We come together and we pool our resources. We all put money into the pot. And then each year, we give out grants to help um, break intergenerational cycles. And we really focus on children and children in our communities. And we've been able to give away, I think, now over a million dollars in grants over the years. So very excited about that group as well. And I'm happy to contribute back uh, to my community in different ways, both being on a board, uh, using my talents there, or with my treasure, as I do in Women United. 
So those are some of the ways at Gooseman Law Firm that we help advance women and want to make sure that we're continuing to do our part in the legal industry. I obviously had a lot of people that helped me get to where I am today, and I want to continuously uh, pay it forward in different ways. And with that, I want to thank you for listening today to Law Talk with the Flock. Have a great day, everyone. Go make it worth it. Bye. Thanks for joining us for Law Talk with the Flock by Gooseman Law Firm. We hope you feel energized and ready to soar past your goals. Become a Flock fan and subscribe to our podcast for weekly episodes. Learn more at goosemanlaw.com.